TQQ, and SQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1R chart for TQQ. We are in negative MACD. We're approaching to oversold levels with the RSI. We have broken below the 200 moving average, the screen line, currently at a price of $148.50. With the 4-hour chart, we are dipping into negative MACD territory and nearing oversold levels with the RSI. As with the daily chart, we remain in positive MACD but we're seeing signs of a diverge. As with the trade idea, my position size for TQQ is less than 1% of my portfolio. My long entry is at $135.71 and that is this range there. My sell target is at $153.12 and that is this range here. My stop loss is at $120.66. As for SQQ, on Friday, close above 2.5%. As with the 1-hour chart, we are in positive MACD. We're approaching to overbought condition with the RSI. As with the 4-hour chart, we have reached to positive MACD. And as we extend out once more onto the daily chart, we remain in negative MACD, but we did see it converge, and we're off of oversold levels with the RSI. As with the trade idea for SQQ, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $7.02. My sell target is at $7.65. And that is this range there. And my stop loss is at $6.91. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model. I'm examining QQQ, so T TQQQ is a leveraged version of QQQ, while SQQ is an inverse leverage of QQQ. So do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the 5th day or week of trading, QQQ has a 77% chance to climb between 0 to 3.4%. To the downside, it has a 15% chance to fall between 0 to negative 3.4% and 8% chance to fall between negative 3.4 to negative 6.8%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.